All right, today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Saint Con 2020 badge. So you should receive this kit of parts as well as the eight pin headers in your choice of color. So, let's see what we've got here. So we've got the lanyard. This piece of paper is very important. Don't throw it away. Here, instead of this test code, will be a unique code that is your gift code for creating your own mini badge on oshpark.com. And we'll talk about that in another video. Hang on to that. So, these are your mini badge holder boards that'll go around the outside of the ball. Got pins, LED and resistors, battery holder, eight red LEDs. This is the main board. There are two horizontal boards that are the same, and then one vertical board here. Also got the official Saint Con 2020 mini badge, and this is the daughter board that has the microcontroller and the brains for the badge. So, first thing we're going to start with is the main board here, and we're going to solder this on. Now, if you look closely here on the edge, there are these little scalloped kind of half holes on the side here and that's what we're going to solder onto the pads here. So this lines up there. Let me zoom in on this for you. So there's a white outline where the board goes. Just line that up and now we're going to solder each one of those pads. So if you haven't soldered before, this is surface mount, and the best way to do surface mount is to put some solder on one of these pads, and then move the part into position over the pad and remelt it. Okay, and then check your alignment. Mine's a tad bit off here. Okay, so now that they're all aligned, we can go ahead and solder all these up. Okay, now that's soldered on, next thing we're going to do is these LEDs. Now they, you can just pull them right out of here, out of the paper, or you can also cut them off with some side cutters. Okay, so there are multiple ways to figure out which way these go into the board. So the shorter of the two legs is the cathode or negative side of it, which is going to go into the square hole here on the board. Um, there is also a flat side of the LED, a little hard to make out on camera, but one side is flattened and that lines up with the flat side of the silk screen here on the board. So go ahead and put these in. The way I like to do this is to put in the four from one side and then when you flip it over the board will sit nice and flat on all four LEDs at once. So kind of hold on to the, the LED pins in the back when you flip it over. And make sure they're standing straight up so the LEDs are straight on the back. And then go ahead and solder. I like to solder one pin on each one and then flip it over and make sure that all the LEDs are flat and aligned and not pointing a weird way. 
and these all look pretty good. So we'll solder the other side. Okay, now take your cutters, trim off the excess leads here. And now we're going to put in the other four LEDs. Those ones look pretty good. Okay, so at this point, we we'll want to test this board and make sure that all our LEDs work before we put all the other parts on and then we can't get to it anymore. So there are multiple ways to test this. Right now since we don't have the battery holder on yet, if you grab a micro USB cable you can plug that in and test it. Okay, so those four are working. Test them back. Those four are working. Good. So that's it for that. Now we'll go ahead and put the battery holder on. Battery holder goes on the back of this board. Solder those two leads there. And it's also a good idea to go ahead and put some batteries in this to check it real quick, just to make sure that it works with batteries. Okay, it's working pretty well. Test that your button works and changes the LED modes around to all the different things. Cool. All right. Now it's time for the fun part. Move on to putting the sides on this thing. So uh, direction does matter on these parts. So we're going to grab this vertical board here. And if you'll notice, there's a notch here cut out of it. And there's a notch cut out of the main board here. And so those are going to slot into each other. Now, like I said, direction matters on this. So you notice there are silver pads here on the sides that should line up when this is put in. Okay, And then there are lower ones on the other side. If you put this in backwards, then those pads don't line up. It's maybe a little hard to see on video. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit here and focus on this. And of course the shiny reflects those pads, but right now they definitely do not line up. So if we flip this over. You can see those two pads line up, and then on the back side, they line up there. Okay, so 
Now we've got that the right way. Just kind of leave that there for now. Don't solder it yet. And we're going to put these on. Now these ones, direction also matters here. And there's letters on the back and there's these circle patterns on the top. So those go up right here. So let's slot this in. And here again, where it's connected to the main board, you'll notice the pads line up here. If they don't, you've got it backwards. Okay, now put the other one on the other side. That in. So, this is now the ball structure. Now you notice there's a little bit of movement in these parts, right? So, when we're soldering this, we're going to try to hold it so that everything is straight as much as possible and lines up. Okay, so using a rubber band or something like that would be helpful here to kind of hold things together. But if you kind of set it down, you may be able to find a place where it holds together well. Alright, so a rubber band here. Just gonna kinda put this around the ball and see if that'll hold it in place a little better here. Make it easier to solder it. Okay. So, in alignment, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to start with this pad right here. Okay, so I've got that soldered. And now I'm going to look here and see how we're looking on alignment. Looks pretty good. So now we're just going to go around and solder all of these on all the different parts here. Okay, that's all of them. So, now the structure of our ball is complete. Now we'll go on to the mini badge holders. So, these are all in a panel, uh, but the individual boards have been scored and recut. So, you can just snap these apart. Now, as you're doing this, you may notice that some of these are a little bit different. So, there are four of them that are different than the others. So, if we say that the rows of holes are top and bottom, then you've got a bunch that have these slots in the middle vertical. These four are horizontal, so when you're when we're putting the ball together with these on it, pay attention to that so we get these all in the right orientation. So now go ahead and grab your headers, and the laborious part of this begins where we got to solder all of these headers on 
to all 17 of these mini badge holders. Again, I solder one pad and flip it over to see. These aren't quite straight, so I'm going to hold them and re-solder to get these nice and straight. And then once they're straight, go ahead and solder the rest. Alright, only 16 more to go. Now we've got all 17 of these with our headers soldered onto them. Now when we go to put these on the ball, or I said these four have the horizontal ones, I'm going to get all the others out of the way and do these four first so that we don't put them in the wrong spot. So these four are going to go on these horizontal boards here, these four places. Uh, if you look at these, one of those slots is wider than the other one. And that lines up with these different size tabs here. If you try to put it on backwards, one tab will fit, one won't. And it just won't fit on right. So make sure you've got these the right orientation. It should slide on just fine. You'll see both tabs sticking up there. And then you can go ahead and solder this. Uh, there is a little bit of wiggle here, so just like before, it helps to put solder on one of these joints and then check it, make sure it's straight. If it's not, go ahead and remelt it and adjust it. And once it's the way you want it, go ahead and put solder on the other three joints. Now just 16 more to go. Uh, we'll do these horizontal boards first. Let's get those done. Alright, so now that we've got those four soldered on to the horizontal boards, just got to put on the other 13. Now, order here is completely up to you. They just all have to go on. It can be 
a little trickier getting these ones soldered since the headers are a little bit in your way when you're doing this. So normally you want to go sideways against the pad, but a little hard with the big plastic header sticking there. So just take your time. It's now complete. So, now we need a mini badge to test and make sure this thing works. So, let's go ahead and assemble that mini badge. Alright, so, here's this year's mini badge. This was designed by my lovely wife. And there's a resistor and an LED that goes on the back of it. Now, you may notice that the parts that you got are more than you need for this mini badge. And that is because they go for the mini badges that you are going to create yourself as part of this. So, you've got four, four LEDs. Four resistors and 16 of these pins, which is enough for this mini badge plus three more. So, first thing we're going to do is get one of these LEDs out. Uh, on these packs of surface mount parts, there's this little plastic cover tape that's over the parts. So, you get some tweezers under there, you can kind of pull it back and reveal one of the LEDs. So, this LED, their polarity matters on this. If you look at the bottom, there is a little green notch that is on one side of it. So that side is going to be the cathode, or negative side of the LED, and that is going to go right here on this side. If you notice around this, there is this white border around three sides, but not the other side. That is because that side is the anode, or positive, this is cathode, and then it's going to go through the resistor and to ground. Okay, so, just like with all the other surface mount stuff, we're going to put solder on one pad here, then pick this up. And again, make sure that the little green notch on the back is pointing towards this side, towards the capped off end of this here. And we're going to solder that on. And then we're going to add some solder to the other side. Now we're going to grab a resistor. do the same thing. Solder on one side. And then solder there. Now for the pins, it's pretty important that these go in straight. If they're crooked, they're not going to fit in. Now, a trick I like to use is if you have something that holds mini badges, like the badge you just built, then you can use this to hold your pins while you solder it. So I'm going to stick these in here, now, of course make sure your badge is powered off before you do this, you don't want to be soldering this well 
there's power on it. So stick your mini badge on there and it's going to hold all your pins straight while you solder these. There we have it. Now let's see if it works. Indeed it does. Our LED on our mini badge is on. Everything on our badge is working. So that's it. The only thing left to do is to design your very own mini badge that you can bring to St. Con next year.